M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So on the left we have the RT85 and you can buy these now for about £30. They are, it is a VHF, UHF radio. It does have a broadcast radio as well. If you hold down the hash here. Describe them as eccentric. In what way? That's your broadcast. You've got A and B band, memory mode. You can program it using, you know, using the radio. You just type in the frequency. You've got a long menu list here. Press F menu. Menu. And you select Set. through the items yeah. or you can go menu and push one of the shortcut buttons here which are written on it. It says they're light and LED and power and scan. So you can say if you go F. Menu. Then power. Power. It takes you straight to menu number four. And then you've got dual watch there. So it will dual watch. Escape. Both of these radios pretty much do the same thing. Dual watch means... They won't dual receive at exactly the same time, but they will dual monitor at the same time and let one through. The, where the arrow is there is the, is the one you're going to transmit on. So on the Bofung you would go, you have an arrow, you move it up and down. The, bo the nice thing about the Bofung, it has the colour screen, but it's a smaller screen. They both have VFO and memory mode, and you can save memories using the radio although with the Bofung you have to use the software to save a memory name with the Retivis you can actually save a memory name in men this menu F I'm pretty sure it's 37 display name okay but that's for a se separate video otherwise you know they both good. they both work well I'd say the Retivis feels better quality than the Bofung but the Bofung is still really good you know I'm still very very happy with the Bofung you, um, nowadays, the both and ones are coming out with little input chargers, and I think they're even making them USB C now as well. The newer Bofungs. This one has a cradle charger, but I'm sure that eventually they will uh, introduce USB C into the, the battery charging. They've both got torches. Uh, they both have, let me think now, LED lights, one at the front for the Bofung. When you key there, it goes red. Look on this one here. It's on the top. So it is, you know, the monitor button. If you hold down this one, you'll you'll get the input. I'm pretty sure the torch is the top and the probably the broadcast Lovely. as well. There are. So the bottom one on the Bofung is the light and it can flash. You can hold it, I think you get an alarm. The top one on the Bofung is the broadcast right, radio. And on this one, the top one is the torch on the I-85. So battery wise, I think they both last fine. Uh, probably the the eighty the RT eighty five lasts longer. It's similar to the RT eighty seven, but it's not the same. I'll show that one. And you've got your twin pin Bofung type cable. Pretty sure the Bofung cable will work on both of these. The software is free for both. Or you can use you can use Chirp. Although I haven't used Chirp on the RT eighty five, but I'm ninety nine percent sure that he will have um, software for that. So that's it. So that's a VHF. UHF broadcast radio, both got DTMF and lots of other features built into these devices. So thanks for watching my channel. Like I said, it's about the speaker audio on both are good, I would say. Better on the RT85. So £30, £25 to £30, sometimes less when they do a deal. Some of the both things out there, I got one the other day, UV13, that was so like £16 delivered from AliExpress. Thanks for watching my channel, 7-3. Catch you on air, all the best.